there's little about Kaipoi Station south of the Kaimanawas to hint at the previous life of the stakeholder now farming these gently rolling hills. Former television presenter Jeremy Wells and his wife Pippi have been running sheep and cattle here for nine years. The first years proved to be hard graft as Wells searched for the right mix of stock to produce the best yield. Well, we had mainly merino initially, uh, and we uh, did diversify into a little bit of ostrich. When the bottom fell out of the ostrich meat market, Wells began farming Māori, just as his great-grandfather had in the 1830s. He ran 200 head of South Island Naitahu for a number of years. We did farm Pākehā for a while, and we had to give up after about two years because I uh, found them to be very, very tricky to breed. Uh, they were fussy eaters, um, quite selfish at times. I found that the Maori were very intensive. Uh, Pākehā, I'd get around about 14 Pākehā per hectare, uh, whereas with the Maori, particularly the, the Tuhoi, I get around 24 per hectare. Wells blames political correctness for the decline in the market for Māori and Pākehā. He threw in the towel two seasons back, but still breeds dwarves recreationally. Yeah, I do like my dwarves. Uh, they uh, remind me a little bit of uh, human Shetland ponies. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. We've had about seven or eight now, and uh, I do like them. I really do. A lot of fun. <laughs> 